Yitzhak starts by asking, Story! How I met my new grandfather! <gasps> Story! I was maybe nine years old that my elder Baba got married again. Came one day, she sent for me, I should meet him. I go up the steps, oi, my heart was knocking. My grandmama opened the door. She was little, not bigger than me. Come, she said, he waits for you. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dark is down the hall and long. And there he sits in the kitchen way back. Not a move, the face is still. It sits there. Fierce the nose and fierce the mustache, fierce eyebrows too. This bandit my grandmama wed. Then he, she pushed me on him and she said, Here he is, your grandson Mendela. <laughs> Such a fear, kinder, what a thing is such a fear, you could die from only fear. Now in me my heart it stopped. He took a whole day before he turned around, glared on me and spoke. Do you smoke? I was now so scared that I could not dare to lie. Are you? I know the head. And he held out a big hairy hand. Then he said, Give me a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> such a fear, Kinder. What a thing is such a fear. Ooh, cigarette. It's a, you know, you don't smoke. <laughs> Stage after Bernstein performed that piece with Jose Ferrer to meet the conductor. Apparently, the first thing that Bernstein did was to ask him to go to bed with him. Malmo told nobody except his wife and his daughter, Jana, who waited until decades later to include the story in her memoir. But one can imagine that Malmo's negative reaction must have been the reason that Bernstein never again talked about finishing that work with anyone except me. And I think he knew I was not one of the many male friends interested in going to bed with him. <laughs> well, I must say I was a bit concerned when I thought of bringing someone along with me to play him the piece, and his secretary, Helen Coates, discouraged that, telling me over the phone, it might jeopardize what she called my special relationship to 